during fourth period, I was actually um, in the office, Mr. Porter's, I was waiting for him to go like have a conference with him about something and he had told me that I had to wait because there was someone in front of me so I was waiting there and I finally got into his office and he told me I asked if I can go speak to my teacher Miss Riovan about it and he told me that he would send me so as I was walking to Miss Riovan's class my teacher Miss Gillum I'm, I have a very close relationship with her she told me that I had to hurry back to her class because I'm not going to be able to finish the test if I don't so I told Ms. Reoven that I would come back after school, which Ms. Reoven's class is actually one of the classes that got shot into, so I'm very thankful that I listened to my teacher and that I actually got reception in that building. Um, I walked back to my class and I sat down, started taking my tests, and as I was taking my tests, I think at about 2.20 something, there was all of a sudden it was the second fire alarm of the day and some people were so happy people were saying like bless because people didn't realize that what was actually gonna happen nobody did I mean I thought something was a little off but we went outside and we went we were walking down the stairs because that's what we usually do when there's a fire alarm and all of a sudden we hear I hear someone say run for your life code red and I I just freeze and my friend says Jaden grab my hand and don't let go of it and all of a sudden I ran back up the stairs because that's that was my first instinct to get back into my classroom and my teacher was telling everyone get back in the class get back in the class I don't know if this is a drill or if it's not because we have been talking about drills for a very long time recently for some reason they've been talking about it and what they would do and what the policies are and they've had meetings about it and it just so happens that this occurred on this day um, there was people screaming everywhere like let me in, people banging on doors and my teacher actually let six people in the classroom. Many people were sitting at their desks but I personally felt more comfortable in a closet whether I knew I had a feeling it was real I just knew like I was like this is they would never keep kids for this at the time it was like 15 minutes for when I decided like I'm going in the closet they would never keep kids for 15 minutes like worrying like this so I went into the closet with my friend and we we're just like we were still holding hands she was like we were both like crying and people were telling us like why are you guys crying this is fake and I knew it wasn't and our teacher was sitting out there and she told us to just be quiet because like just in case someone came in so her sister was actually in the freshman building and her sister said to her that the glass was actually broken in their room and the shooter had she saw her best friend die and I was just in total shock like that's when I knew like this is totally 100% real. I texted my mom. I was like, mom, I love you. I don't know if I'm going to die. I don't know what's going to happen. I just want you to know like, that I love you so much. And it was really emotional for me. And it, I was in total shock and disbelief that something like this could happen. And my friend was just scrolling through Twitter and she saw shooter Nick Cruz. And I was like, Nick Cruz. And it just came to me. I've known that kid since middle school. And it just came to me. I was like, I was not surprised. None of us were shocked. If I, if someone said, if you have to pick one person to shoot up the school, who would it be? I think so many of the students would have said him. And it's really disappointing that nobody ever did anything about it. And as we were going out of, when the, I think it was about like three hours of us worrying in a closet, hiding, that the SWAT team members came in and broke through our glass and told us to put our hands up and leave our belongings in the room. That was also a really surreal moment where it felt like, this was just crazy because as we were walking out there was so many SWAT team members who were just guarding us and making sure that that we know that we're safe and okay now but it's just it's just such a crazy thing that happened I never have never would have thought at my school you always hear about it and read about it and it's always on the news but I never would have thought at my school like 17 people would have been gone forever and it just I can't imagine any parent who has to go through this now and like has to know like they can never they're never gonna see their child again because of this one crazy kid who just never got help I actually have some friends who are in the senior class who they ran out when they heard the shooting they were I think that they were on the other side of the building like not close to the freshman building so they actually could run out and they were like running to Walmart and the shooter was when he finished whatever he was doing he actually ran he was actually running with the crowd and he happened to be with them and he told them he was like guys like we gotta run faster we gotta we gotta get out of here this is what I heard 
that he told my friend and my friend was like, yeah, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe someone would do this. And the kid was, and Nick Cruz was like, I know, I know, this is, we, but we just got to keep moving. And they were talking to him and saying like, he was saying, what are you guys going to do for college? And then when they asked him, he said he was going to trade school and he was just acting like he just didn't kill 17 people and injure people with a gun in the school. And he, like, he didn't just create a huge thing that's never going to go away. And like he, after that, I know that he went to Walmart and then he got a drink at the subway in there and he went to go eat at McDonald's. And it just, it's crazy that someone could be so sick and do that. Well, I knew Joaquin and he was like, he was just like such a fun kid. He was always the life of the party. He always was so he was always like willing to do things for other people and he just made everyone laugh all the time and I just can't believe like someone who I saw every day and someone he was very close with my boyfriend and like it just like breaks my heart to know like that he's gone it just doesn't I don't even like believe it um, I knew I was friendly with Meadow Pollock I was friendly with her um, and everyone else I just I mean it's crazy you know of these people and you see them and it's just they're you, it's crazy to me that you can never see them again. Coach Feist, he, I actually drove with my boyfriend every day to school, so I would see when I was coming in, because he parks in the senior lot, he would always be so welcoming, and he would always, like, wave, and, like, he would always let my boyfriend leave early. I didn't really have, like, I always said hi to him, but I wasn't very close with him. But I know that he was a great guy that many people loved, and are, everyone is, like, very saddened by that. It was, we went to, like, the vigil, which was really, that was really hard. I think it was the day after this all happened. We went to that and it's just amazing. Like this, obviously this is such a hard and horrible thing that has happened and it's nothing, no kid should go through this to know that like their friends and classmates are gone because they came to school that day. It doesn't make sense. And parents will never see their kids again. But the fact that our, I've never seen like a community come together like this. And that's the really positive thing that's actually come out of this whole negativity is that people have come together like amazing and I think people will start treating each other with more respect and kindness because it's so true you never know like when it, someone's gonna be gone it's so scary and surreal but you really don't know like you can't take anyone for granted basically you have to appreciate everyone you love because you never know when it's gonna be the last time you see them I mean those people just came to school that day thinking it was Valentine's Day it was a good vibe like everyone was happy and then all of a sudden you hear on the news, I can't believe 17 people are just gone.